Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how I turn my ideas into actions and really how I map out my workflows from both my company Tiff and Tech side of things and working with other people on it and then to how I spec out projects that I will be coding, how I kind of manage that workflow. Before we go any further though, I want to say a big thank you to Taskade for sponsoring this video. I have become obsessed with using Taskade recently, so I'm really excited to share with you my workflow using it. Also, before we go any further, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these awesome users here. Thank you for your questions, your support. I just love my community and thank you all for um, just being awesome. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm in Taskade and you can see I have built two workspaces, one for technical projects and the other for Tiffin Tech Workspace. Tiffin Tech Workspace is for myself and a few other people that I have on my team from my brand manager to my video editor specifically. They have different tasks uh, that they work on throughout the week and just kind of being in communication and aligned on what everyone is working for, being able to keep it all in one workspace has been huge. Okay, so I will take you through Tiff and Tech team tasks um, for last week or a few weeks ago. You see here, right now I have it in list view where I have my to-do, doing, and done. I like to be able to see what I've achieved throughout the week. Um, it kind of makes me feel as though, you know, I've, I like there's nothing better than actually crossing something out. I feel like that's such a good feeling, so I love how I can do that on here. Uh, for my to-dos, you can see I take Paul and Carol, who are two other people who help me with my tip and tech stuff. I take them so they can get a notification as well, and then also too, I can see what they're working on. Also for these purposes, I repurposed and just put company X or brand X and Y and Z because I can't exactly just share with you um, kind of upcoming campaigns or things I'm working on, so I modified that part of it. You can see what we are doing, um, and then as well, once it is done, check mark, and then it will go there. And I can move it, drag to move, down there. Also, I really like, I'll show you on another list, but another thing I like is there's so many different keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if I want to say in the to-do, it's research for YouTube topics, but I have some subtopics for that, I can just enter and then tab, and it will be a subtask for that to-do. So research for YouTube video topics, and then subtopic could be look into top 10 trending tech videos and you can kind of add on you can do another tab to go further in depth which i really love as i find i'm someone who likes to write my to do's and just kind of like jot down some points as i go okay so that is my tiffin tech tasks as you can see in list form one thing i like because i'm a very visual person uh, I like how they also have different kind of ways that you can visualize your tasks. So for example, you can do a board where it's more in a different format here, the to do, doing and done still, just in a different format. And if something's done, you can drag to move and there you go. The other way I really like is a mind map. I don't typically work with the mind map uh, flow, but I do like to look at it at the end of the day to see exactly where the tasks are, how, how much we've achieved throughout the day. And I feel like the mind map is a great way for me anyways to visualize kind of the big picture of things. Okay, but for now, let's go back to list. Also, one thing, as I mentioned, I'm a huge visual person and I feel like it's a great way for me to um, if things are organized and clear and visual, I will be more motivated. I don't know if I'm the only one like this. I feel like there has to be others like this. And one thing I really like is you can go to more. I can, you know, say I want it to be underlined in a specific color for a reason, whether it's more important, uh, things like that. I also like you can set a priority to it. So say priority would be, hmm, Let's do high. So if I have some different team members that I need to remind that this is a high priority or lower priority and really which task to focus on, this is essential as well. Another thing I really like is you can also unfold or fold different lists. So for example, if I don't need to see done and have it kind of exposed all the time, I can just fold that right up. And it kind of shortens the to-do list or the tasks and makes the workflow a bit cleaner as to what you need to accomplish. You don't always need to have, for example, done out, or you can also do it if you have a bunch of subtasks. So for example, research for YouTube video topics. This is a small example as I currently only have one subtask, but you can fold it up to keep it clean. 
Okay, so that's really how I take my ideas and what I have to achieve for the week and put it into workflow. And once again, being able to visualize it, see what others are working on by tagging them, using the hashtags to organize the workflow of things and where each task is to be is just huge. It's really been a game changer for um, as far as communication goes with myself and my Tiffin Tech team and being able to be on top of everything. So this is where I initially started to use Task Aid was for the workflows and bringing ideas to life for Tiffin Tech. But I quickly realized there are so many other use cases that you can use Task Aid that it quickly became integrated in my life for pretty much everything. Another area though that I really wanted to touch on and highlight is how I use it to kind of plan and spec out for creating say a new side project or um, any kind of project that I will be coding and building out what the requirements are and really how it will look. Because if you are someone who is working on a side project or maybe your company is starting to build a new piece of your project, it can be, you will know firsthand that having this great idea of, hey, I want to build this awesome app. Okay, that's great. But breaking it down and being able to visualize what you will be achieving week by week, that is something that is a skill in itself. And if you don't have that set up right though, your project is bound to fail. So being able to use this workflow and translate it into how I will build different projects has been immense and really a time saver as though I don't have to go back and rework a lot of pieces of the code or different kind of aspects of things because I know where I'm going and what I'm focusing on each week. Okay, so let me go out of Chief and Tech Workspace and into technical projects. Okay, so you can see here I have a programmer's productivity checklist, and this isn't something that I actually came up with. Um, however, I do like to modify it to what's best for me and my workflow. If you click on your profile here, you can see that there is an option for templates. And yes, this is like eye candy to me, so I'm sure for a lot of you this is too. You can see here there is everything from mind mapping, strategy, prioritization, engineering. So if you click on engineering, this is the template that I started to use and you can once again modify it based on what your needs are. And you can click on use template, choose a workspace. I'm not going to do that because I will flip back to the other page where I've actually chosen uh, this template for my technical projects. So here it is. And as you can see, there's planning and deadlines, reminders and things you need to check off before actually taking action on planning and deadlines. Also productivity. For example, nice little reminders such as do not overwork, take time to rest, professional development, be user centric, define effective ways for others to deliver results. And this is a great way that, yes, if you're doing your own individual product, having these reminders, but also too, you can use this across teams. So if you are onboarding a new developer or really anyone into your company, having something like this where they can look and see what your main and core principles are for things such as professional development, um, quality testing, for before you, you know, deploy an application, any of that, they can look here and understand very clearly as to what your principles are. And once again, with this, you can edit it, you can, there's due dates, most of these are like just kind of self reminders, so you don't need a due date for it, but you can assign tasks, comment, and more. And also too, you can invite different users. So you can put in an email or username, email for example, if they are not already part of Taskade, or you can use a link. And for my technical projects, you can see I am the owner and the only one. However, if you do have multiples, it will show all your list of uh, members on that. Okay. That was a lot of information. I hope you enjoyed going through it as much as I did. It's something that, as you know, I am super passionate about organizing workflows and really finding the best and most effective and efficient ways to do so. Because at the end of the day, just having this great and big idea is one thing, but putting it to action and breaking it down that it actually is feasible, communicating different parts of it for different team members, that is a skill in itself. So I'm very happy to have discovered Taskade and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I linked it down below so you can check it out as well. And I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Oh, also make sure hit the subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Okay, I'll see you soon.